Thank you, Juan. Prosecutors say a notorious Orange County murder was the result of a deadly love triangle. Tonight, a former NFL player convicted in the crime is speaking out for the first time since the jury said guilty. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler has a story you won't see anywhere else. An innocent family man was murdered in his own home, this home, and now it's our home. Kathleen and Mary O'Flynn know what it's like to grow up in the house that made headlines. Bill McLaughlin's body ended up right here in the kitchen, middle of the kitchen. Two years after Balboa Cove's millionaire, 55-year-old Bill McLaughlin, was shot to death inside his own home, the O'Flynn's moved in. There is an eerie, you know, feeling around here. McLaughlin's live-in mistress, Nanette Johnston, and her ex-NFL boyfriend, Eric Naposky, say prosecutors killed McLaughlin for his money. That was 17 years ago. Now, for the first time, the ex-linebacker breaks his silence. I guarantee you, looking straight in the face, Troy, Eric Naposky did not murder Bill McLaughlin any way you slice it. As Naposky awaits sentencing for first degree murder, he spoke from the Orange County Jail, pointing the finger at Johnston. Her gift is the manipulation of men. Prosecutors say the case against Naposky and Johnston is clear. Johnston, they say, gave him her house key and he had a duplicate made at this Ace Hardware, then used it to enter. And prosecutors allege Johnston provided Naposky with a map of the interior of the home. He knew exactly where to find the back door. Johnston, now 45, a Ladera Ranch soccer mom, is set to stand trial next month. This homeowner says every time she sets foot in her kitchen, a former crime scene, she's convinced the bombshell knew exactly what she was doing. She advertised in a, mag a magazine. She was supposedly on a lounge and she was saying, if you take care of me, I'll take care of you. And that's how Mr. McLaughlin met her. Investigators say that Johnston and Naposky were always considered suspects, but they couldn't recover the gun and link them to the crime. Three years ago, the Orange County District Attorney's Office reopened the case and looked at old evidence. If convicted, Johnston faces life in prison. We're live tonight at the Newport Harbor. Stacy Butler, CBS 2 News. And you can watch the full Deadly Love Triangle story this Saturday at 10 o'clock right here on CBS 2.